guys, it's Peggy here with Citrus Templates and today I wanted to show you my latest product. Uh, a few months ago, I had asked um, you know, my community what uh, you want me to create for you. And overwhelmingly, uh, a lot of people asked for a real estate planner. So the last couple months I have been working on, you know, all the things that I do to plan, like all the best practices and just trying to figure out a really great planner for you guys to use that is easy, uh, that lets you kind of focus on your real estate business, on your systems, and really to uh, help you achieve that work-life balance. So I'm really excited today to uh, show you this uh, ultimate real estate business planner and um, let me know if you guys have any questions. But it basically covers everything you need from business planning to monthly, weekly, down to daily pages uh, for you to stay focused. So. The planner comes in six parts. It's, it's that big that um, it comes in six uh, PDFs. Uh, but basically, you uh, will start first by uh, doing some business planning. So if you get this now, I'm recording this in December. Uh, if you get this now, this is a great time to do your business planning so that starting January, you can dive into the planner, uh, you know, into the monthly, weekly, and daily pages uh, with this business planning done already. So. The first thing I always like to have was uh, like a stop and jot. So, you know, as you're going through this process, you're going to be like, oh, I can do this this year. Or Next year, I'm going to, you know, do this lead generation strategy. But I don't want you to go down that rabbit hole before you have finished. So I put these pages here so that you would, you can write it down and you can come back to it later. So don't lose that momentum of just doing the business planning. And then you can take all of those ideas and kind of look at it with a different light. But when you like start, you know, writing things down that now you're on YouTube and, you know, looking at how to do TikTok videos or whatever, you know, you don't want to lose that momentum of the business planning part. So if you have an idea, just put it down right here and you can always revisit it so you won't forget it. Okay. So I put a couple pages for brainstorming. Then, you know, we're going to do kind of some, you know, reviewing and reflecting on what happened well in 2023. Um, I think it's really important to understand what happened um, and then you can start planning for the and that also includes all of your business numbers from this year, right? So we want to see, you know, everything that you've done this year, and that's going to help inform you what, what is feasible and uh, what you can accomplish in 2024. Okay. Now, this one's a little dark, uh, but I really like this idea of writing your eulogy. Um, and so that is something that came from uh, the seven habits of highly effective people um, it, uh, from Stephen uh, Covey. Uh, and he had said, you know, if you want to have more clarity in your life, what uh, what do you want to do with your life by writing your eulogy? So at the end of everything, what do you want people to say about you? Like, is it, um, you know, are you focused on, you know, you helping your community? Um, uh, you, is the biggest thing that you want them to say is, oh, they help so many people buy and sell houses? Um, is it they, you know, you um, had, a, had a family that was close to you? Um, you know, really thinking about that, I think really helps to put things in perspective. And for, I think a lot of us, um, it's not necessarily how much money we made or how many transactions we did, but what did we do with that time? What did we do? Did we make an impact on the people that are important to us? Um, all of those things. And so really, under, I think that'll give you a kind of a bigger uh, picture of, you know, why are we in this business? Um, you know, what do you want to accomplish um, in your life that maybe related to your business or, or not, right? And and maybe the real estate business is just a way to make money to uh, to be able to do whatever you want to do in your life, right? So just thinking about your eulogy and thinking about what you want people to say about you, um, I think will really help put in perspective some of these longer term goals that you might have. Um, and, and then we can you know, work backwards from there. So the next one is now we're going to start daydreaming our ideal day. And the idea here is you want to create a life that you don't need a vacation from, right? So if you could like just imagine your ideal day, right? What would you be doing in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening, right? And then the closer and more vivid that we can make this ideal day, the more motivated and likely you are to accomplish it. So I want you guys just to take a little bit of time and think about that. Like, what would you do every single day? And and that would be a life that you would not need to take a vacation from, right? 
And I think there's some things, maybe some annual activities too that you want in your ideal life as well, right? So maybe not every day you're taking a vacation, but maybe you do want to take like six weeks of vacation a year, right? And so trying to kind of brainstorm also what you want to have happen, like if there's some big activities that you want to have happen every year, um, you know, some of those things as well. So kind of sprinkling in both annual and then we're kind of getting now into like making like even more concrete, more um, specific uh, goals. And so understanding like, you know, that you're not just all work, right? You have all of these um, domains in your life that when one domain is, is, like, is at a one and not doing very well, it impacts everything else. It's the same thing in business, right? If your lead generation is not great, everything else in your business um, is not great either. So we had to make sure that um, you know, our business is balanced and our personal life is balanced as well. And so this this sheet is really here to help you with uh, focusing on your uh, personal life and understanding what you really want uh, in your personal life and how you can, um, uh, what are some of those goals related to, you know, health and fitness or what do you do for fun? Um, you know, where are you with your money and finances, your family and friends, spirituality, the environment and your community what you want to do um, there if there's anything that you want to do there and then a couple you know blank spots if there's some other personal things that you, um, you know, really want to focus on this year uh, in the coming year then you would put it here and then same thing with the business right uh, as you know I've got other videos on the balanced age of blueprint which is what I teach on you know helping real estate agents with uh, you know their, their systems uh, this vision uh, you know, this, these business domains are kind of that next process, right? In your business, what does that ideal life in your business look like, right? Is that uh, your vision? What does your lead generation systems look like? What does your lead conversion look like? What does your contract to close look like? Um, you know, what are these uh, systems that you're putting in place? And what does it look, what does a five look like, right? What does that ideal process look like? And uh, kind of like going through that that those business goals uh, for each of these different systems. Now, now that we've got a lot of these goals, now you can start to really, um, you know, focus in on prioritizing which goals are more important than others, and you know what kind of impact each of those goals might have, and where are the domains and kind of some notes about each of those goals. So now we've got probably a lot of goals in our personal and business domains, and now it's time to kind of prioritize. Uh, which ones are really the most important ones and which ones are really going to, you know, move the ball forward for you, for your business and for your life. Okay, and then now we're starting to get more into the business side of this thing because, yes, this is a real estate business planner. So, you know, thinking about now we've got kind of the big picture. Now thinking through that, uh, we're looking now at our 2024 business goals. Uh, so you've had a chance to reflect on 2023 have some big goals for 2024 now we're putting some concrete numbers in here right what can you realistically uh, do in 2024 and um, kind of going through all of these numbers now the next step is lead generation now we are going to be talking about you know everything starts with lead generation if you don't have any leads coming in uh, it doesn't really matter what your contract to close process is if you don't have any deals right so lead generation is the name of the game um, and so we're really focusing in this next section on planning out your lead generation system, right? What in 2023, and you know, that's starting at looking back at 2023, right? What were the sources of, you know, your, your leads? And then now then once you kind of put that in, then you can kind of look at what were, what are your 2024, uh, lead generation sources going to be and what do you think you can, you know, realistically generate that number of leads, um, you know, into a monthly and understanding kind of how that all works together. And then you can also brainstorm stuff here on the side. So this is just an example uh, that I filled out. Uh, so you can, you know, start to just think about those, those lead generation um, systems. And then next, now we're going diving deep into each lead generation system. So now we're talking about, okay, with this system, let's say, um, you're gonna do, um, you know, let's say you're gonna do YouTube videos, right? 
So you're going to name it YouTube videos. Um, you know, what, are you, what type of lead are you going to generate, a buyer or a seller lead or both, right? And, it, and this planner goes through these specific questions to let you really plan out your lead generation system. We're not just, you know, one off doing YouTube videos or, you know, like the, you know, whatever the lead generation flavor of the week is. We're really thinking about for this year, what are the systems that we want to focus on and really devote our time to, uh, to get those leads. Because it's going to be so much better for you to just focus on a few lead generation systems and get really good at those and really consistent at those versus a shotgun approach of doing like, like 10 different lead generation things every single month and really not getting any traction with any of them. So this uh, process, I encourage you to take a lot of time with this process to really understand, kind of think through that lead generation system. If you really want to do it, what the time commitment is, and if you can really ask yourself honestly if that is something that you can be consistent and dedicated to. And so this, these questions are here for that. So I've got several um, pages for that for you. Um, and then finally, now you have your, we're calling it our ideal week. So now we know our lead generation systems, we know kind of what we're gonna be doing each week during lead generation. Now's the time to kind of start to think about your ideal week. Um, so how, what does this look like? And you know, first you want to put in the non-negotiables, right? Like if you really wanna drop your kids off at school in the morning, or you really wanna pick up your kids in the afternoon, put that in there first, right? Like put those things that are important to you in first and then work the other things around um, those items. Okay, so then, so you know, your ideal week, it's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna be the same every week, right, in, in real life, but at least being intentional and planning this through is going to help you kind of get more organized and understand where, you know, your schedule breaks down or what's happening. Um, so really trying to think through, like, what is my ideal week? Um, maybe what do I want my ideal week to be? Maybe you're working towards, you know, taking off Sunday afternoons or taking off Saturday mornings. Like, what would that look like and what do you need to get in place to have this ideal week? And then that is the planner. So then now we're starting to implement, right? So we, we, we would do the planning. Um, hopefully you're doing this uh, in December and then now we're ready for 2024. So, uh, so I've just included an annual calendar here so you can see it. Um, and then we can dive into January, right? So that's the annual, this is starting the monthly, right? So this month, now you can start to see a, at a monthly view uh, kind of what's happening, right? You can put in any key dates, key birthdays, you know, all that kind of stuff in here. But again, the focus is on lead generation, right? So we want to really stay focused on looking at, okay, what, what did I plan in 2024? Like, what did I say I was going to do um, you know, here, right? What did I say I was going to do in my business plan, right? You, this is not a one-time thing. Like you do this business plan and then don't just like put it away or put it underneath a stack of, you know, papers, right? You need to be looking at this every, at least every month, right? So go back to this and say, okay, what did I say I was going to do, right? Then you can put those numbers in here, but say this, like my, gen my, my lead generation targets, the number of people, the number of leads I'm going to contact is this, the number of appointments I'm going to set is this, I'm going to meet these many people, right? And so you can get, um, you know, very focused by looking back at your annual goals, transferring them on here uh, to your monthly goals. And then you can set a few other, like maybe, you know, breaking down all of your goals into, you know, a monthly goal and then any important dates that are coming up. So that's kind of the monthly kind of overview. Now, every week I have a weekly preview as well. And so every week, you know, my recommendation is you either do this Sunday night or Monday morning, first thing, that you review what's going to happen for the week, right? So, and I even have these check marks here. So one, you're going to review your monthly goals, right? So you look back here, what did you write in, in the monthly? So review your monthly goals, review those lead generation targets, um, and review your personal goals as well, right? We always want to be keeping on top of our goals. Um, and like, what did you write? back a couple months, like what were those goals and are you on track? So we want to stay focused on those goals. And that will inform you for this week specifically, what are my priorities for this week? What is going to take, what is it going to take to move the ball forward? Even if it's, you know, an inch, a centimeter, at least we're making progress, right? So what is that, what are those priorities for the week? 
and then taking you know those monthly goals and converting them into the weekly targets right what are the weekly targets maybe you want to make a push this week for uh for more lead generation like maybe you have a lighter week um and uh and then you're gonna you're gonna do a little bit more this week right so you can set specific weekly generate lead generation goals here i love just a big space for to do's you know you, things come up right you make notes you talk to clients all that so i just left a really big space for to do's uh for things that come up um and then uh this last part is really about system so every week i have a different uh question for you that gives you a, that I want you to reflect on uh, for your business system, right? It's so easy to put systems on the back burner of, you know, we're dealing with clients, you know, you're trying to put out fires, you're talking to people, right? And, you know, all, too many times we don't get a chance to really step back and think about our business. And so I have a question for you every week is different that uh, really just talks about different business systems. And uh, it really goes through all those business domains and kind of gives you something to think about with each of those domains. So definitely just take a look at that question, take a minute or two to jot your notes down, um, and that could turn into you know some tasks that you might wanna do in the future or even um, during this week. And then finally, I have a column over here, uh, you know, just kind of laying it out. If you have specific like important meetings or um, things that you already know are happening um, during, during the week, this is a great place to put that. Um, a lot of times I'll do this for um, meal planning for the kids. Like, okay, what am I going to cook for dinner today? So we like don't end up getting takeout every single day. Uh, you know, just planning out like meals or, you know, knowing that, you know, Thursday is, you know, the uh, band concert, uh, you know, stuff like that, that you can just keep in here so that you know, it's just your top of mind for that. Okay. And then we get into the daily pages, right? So this is really your kind of hub of okay what do i have to do this week how do i focus what do i need to focus on so ideally you're looking at that weekly you're taking a look at this again and again a checklist for now you're reviewing that weekly priorities uh, up here like so you're looking at the weekly priorities you're looking at your weekly lead gen targets and then you're translating that into your daily thing like what do i need to do today to accomplish my weekly goal right so what are those top three things um, that you need to do today to accomplish um, that weekly goal. And then, and then here is your accountability, right? What did you actually do today, right? How many leads did you actually contact? How many appointments did you actually set, right? And so here, um, every single day, you just fill this out. You, you fill it out at the end of the day, right? When you're, when you're all done, you know, you're at the end of your day, you're about to close your laptop, um, you know, just um, to fill this out. And I think just the idea of filling it out, even if it's like, like you know, two, zero, zero, right? Like it's okay, that is, we are where we are. And now at least you uh, have this at, at your top of mind and you're kind of recognizing what's going on in your business. How much did you move the ball forward today? And if you didn't move the ball forward today, at least you know that now, right? Instead of thinking you did and then wondering at the end of the year why you didn't hit your goals. Right, so we want to be very specific and purposeful in tracking our numbers. Um, and it's not even as much the numbers as just being consistent and knowing where we are, because then once you know that, you will automatically start improving. Okay. Again, a big space for uh, notes to do anything that happens um, you know, during the day. You can fill out your schedule, any appointments, any things like that that are happening. And then the, uh, I like a reflection section, you know, you can fill this out at night or, you know, even at just at the end of your work day, hey, what went well, what didn't go well, um, you know, what's, um, you know, what are things that I need to remember for the next day, um, stuff like that. So just a place for reflection. You can put gratitudes in here, uh, different things like that. Okay, so then we have all of those daily pages and it just continues through. So every single day you've got that, then we're on to week two. Again, then you can just repeat this process. And so I have planners, um, you know, for every single day, they're all laid out and ready for you for 2024. And then as a bonus, I have also some additional planner sheets that are just gonna help you in your business. Um, and so there's a 30 day social media challenge, there's a closing tracker, um, there's 365 days of prospecting. So, you know, put this up next to your computer, right? Every day that you prospect it, just shade it in, right? And so uh, then I think you're gonna really see how much um, you can make in over a year because a lot of times you know 
it, it, we don't see too much progress in a week, but then if you see all of these things shaded in January, right, they're gonna, you're gonna get motivated to like make sure it keeps staying shaded in February, March, you know, and throughout the year. You can really um, visually see your progress. Now we can start to talk about kind of the experience. Like what do we really want to, um, what kind of experience do we want our clients to have? And so this really kind of goes through um, kind of letting you think what that seller client experience is like is it just haphazard and you know they, they get what they get right or are we like specifically crafting an experience like a five-star experience that they want right so that's for the seller side this is for the buyer side um, and then I have also the seller and buyer intake forms so when a lead comes in what are you gonna get from them right like how many times have we like talked to a lead and then you hung up and you're like shoot I forgot to ask them this question well, with these forms, you will not forget to ask any questions. Um, so you just print these out and you know put them by your desk. And when a seller lead or a buyer lead comes in, you'll know exactly what to ask them. Uh, this is a listing tracker, just tracking um, you know all the listings that that you'll have. Uh, Self care weekly planner, right? This kind of gets back into our personal goals, right? We we have to be um, you know, take care of ourselves first before we really grow our business. So making sure that you're you know, taking care of yourself. Um, this idea of organizing your tasks, right? We always have so many things to do. So this is gonna help you, um, you know, figure out which tasks are the really important ones that you need to focus on and which ones maybe you can delegate you know, to a TC or a field agent or something like that. And then a business expense tracker and a password tracker. So that is the planner. I know this video is a lot longer than I wanted to make it, uh, but this really is an overview of you know how you can think about your business planning and then how to really stay focused on you know lead generation and you know all of those systems that you need to grow your business while still having a life. So if you guys have any questions about that, uh, let me know. I will link uh, to the product below and feel free to check it out or any of the other products in my shop. And I will talk to you later. Thanks.